My first and really important tip would be to be able to convey your passion for engineering, physics, mathematics, computer science, etc. the subject that you have applied for. This is really important. The vast majority of the candidates that will be applying to Oxford and Cambridge will potentially be able to achieve an A or an A star. So therefore, one of the deciding factors might be, are you truly passionate about your subject? What is your experience? experience in this subject. Why do we actually want to study physics, maths, computer science, engineering? What are some real examples from your background that you might be able to convey to showcase this? Now, my second tip would be to research really well some of the opportunities at your chosen university. For instance, you might be interested at a new research center that the university might have built. For the name of that research center, look into some of the work that it's actually doing. Be really honest about this. Generally, go through their website and find something unique to the university of your choice that you truly want to be part of. And this would be an excellent technique to really actually understand why is it that you want to study at that university out of all the possibilities out there. My next tip is on the technical part of the interview. Chances are that your interviewer will ask you some really, really interesting technical questions. Think of this as an opportunity to think about something really, really interesting. It's really important to boil that problem down to its very, very fundamentals. So whichever problem you're faced with, break it down until we reach a level that you are absolutely sure what is going on. For instance, you might be given a question about a rocket, try to fundamentally break it down into a situation where you know all of the balance of the forces on that rocket and you might be able to talk about its acceleration, for instance, or other factors. Keep in mind that the technical part of the interview is a conversation. You'll be speaking with a world leading expert in that field from that university. You have the opportunity to ask them plenty of questions, discuss some of your assumptions and don't be afraid to ask them if this equation will be valid or if this assumption might be a good assumption to use. Try and convey your thought process. Nine times out of ten, the interviewers will be more interested in the way you are arriving at the answer, how you're able to apply the, the mathematics into some real-world scenarios and to be able to arrive at an answer within some basic assumptions. Be aware that no matter what, you will be faced with a problem that you've never heard of before. The trick is once again to break down the problem into its fundamentals, never to give up on a problem and take some basic assumptions and then work up from there. Remember that trying to see the way you think, whether you're open to a conversation and how you can interact and apply mathematics to some real world scenarios. So ideally you want to practice dealing with unfamiliar problems. One tactic might be to have a look at some problems from the International Physics Olympiad or the British Physics Olympiad. Check out the links in the description of this video and just try and tackle them, later compare them with the mark schemes. Have a browse for my channel as well. I have tons of Olympiad problems. A lot of them are very unusual and non-standard and are not problems typically found within A-level papers. So this might just about give you a competitive advantage if you're really familiar in applying your knowledge to some very very unfamiliar problems.